The seventh process of the build acquire and implement domain called manage change acceptance and transitioning, has eight practices. The sixth practice is to promote change to production and manage releases. The entities that are responsible include, the business process owners, the head of IT development, and the IT service manager. The entity that is held accountable is the program steering committee. The practice receives no inputs, but it generates two outputs which are, the release plan to be used by the BAI1 process, and the release log to be used internally. The activities involved in this practice include, preparing for the transition of applications and infrastructure from testing to the production environment. The extent of reliance on the old system has to be determined, before the total transitioning to the new systems. The relevant business process and system documentation should be updated. All media libraries should be updated according to the new systems versions, and the older ones should be archived. The new solution distribution should be controlled, where only authorized users should be allowed to receive it and be notified of it. The seventh practice is to provide early production support. The entities that are responsible include, the business process owners, the head of IT development, and the IT service manager. The entity that is held accountable is the program steering committee. The practice receives two inputs which are, the quality of service review results from the APO11 process, and the success measures and results from the BAI5 process. It generates one output which is the supplemental support plan, to be used by the AP08 and DSS2 processes. The activities involved in this practice include, providing additional sources to the users until the release stabilization. Additional IT resources should be provided as well, until the operational environment becomes stable. The eighth practice is to perform a post-implementation review. The entities that are responsible include, the business process owners, the head of IT development, and the IT service manager. The entity that is held accountable is the program steering committee. The practice receives several inputs that include, the quality reviews results from the AP011 process, the root causes of quality issues from the AP011 process, and the success measures and results from the BAI5 process. It generates two outputs which are, the post-implementation review report, and the remedial action plan, both to be used by the BAI1 process. The activities involved in this practice include, establishing procedures to ensure that the post-implementation reviews are successful. The reviews should confirm if the enterprise requirements are met, if the expected benefits have been realized, and if the system is stable and usable. The success measurement metrics should be agreed on with the business process owners and the IT technical management. The post-implementation review should be conducted according to the change management process. Any remaining issues should be addressed and an action plan should be agreed on and implemented. Other sources that provide further insights into this process include, the ISO 20000 standard, the Project Management Book of Knowledge, the PRINCE2 program, and the IDLE framework.